Hello, I'm Commissioner of Agriculture Steve Troxler. If you've been following the videos that we've been doing uh, on the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, you know that we've been highlighting divisions of the department, but today is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to highlight the Farm to School program, which is part of our marketing division, but it's so important not only to the farmers of North Carolina, but to the school children that uh, we have eating in school cafeterias. We need to highlight this and, and let you know exactly what it is. Our Farm to School program is exactly what it says. Uh, we actually uh, source products for directly from the farm, which are the freshest that they can possibly be. And then we deliver them to the school cafeterias all across the uh, state of North Carolina. And that is done by our food distribution division that is based in Butner and Salisbury. So we're one of the few states in the nation that have the opportunity to have a program like this because we do operate food distribution with our tractor trailer trucks, refrigeration, warehouse storage, so it all fits together very well. This program actually started in 1997 uh, and today it is over $1.4 million and this is a good market for our farmers and we're helping to build good uh, eating habits in the children by furnishing them uh, nutritious fruits and vegetables and uh, meat uh, now is, uh, I think this is the first year we've done that, but it's a very important program so I hope you will follow along with me as I explain it. We have around 85 farmers that uh, produce products for this program and a total of 86 of the 115 school systems actually do participate in this program. Uh, so it is about locally grown fruits and vegetables and even meats into the daily meals that our children eat. Two of the most popular offerings are strawberries and apples, but the other commodities are also included, uh, and that could be cantaloupes, watermelons, uh, uh, slicing, and grape tomatoes, sweet potatoes. We're a huge sweet potato straight, so we want people to eat sweet potatoes. Cabbage, broccoli, apple slices, kale, collards, and peaches, Asian pears, romaine, uh, lettuce, honeydew melon, and blueberry. So you can see how nutritious this uh, food is that we deliver to this cafeteria. We actually added this year two frozen berry mixes of to tomato melody, baked green beans, and frozen ground beef. And uh, this is new and we hope it is very successful. As a grandfather of five, it makes me very proud to know that North Carolina commodities are being served in our school states cafeterias, and I know uh, it has helped uh, my grandkids develop uh, much better eating habits than they once had. We have a long-standing, great partnership with the school nutrition directors and teachers across the state, uh, not only in providing healthy food to the school cafeteria, but also by providing educational materials that focus on nutrition and on agriculture. Uh, kids are getting North Carolina agriculture in the classroom and the cafeteria, and that's a win-win for everybody. I believe it is really important for kids to know where their food comes from, and, and I'm not talking about the grocery store shelf. Hopefully, as they use these products and learn about agriculture at school, I hope they take that conversation home and talk about it with their parents. Uh, one thing that I know is we have a growing disconnect between the consumers of ag products and the farm, and we hope that this program helps to uh, rectify that situation. Every year, uh, we hold a, an art competition where kids are asked to draw pictures that represent North Carolina agriculture, and this helps teachers incorporate information about our state's number one industry into the curriculum that they have. Uh, I am amazed by the artwork that we get back by these children. In fact, I've made the comment that I pay people a lot of money to do graphic design, and we get these pictures in that uh, the kids have colored, uh, and I feel very proud and know that uh, the future of, of graphic design in North Carolina is very, very bright. Uh, in our high schools, we're working with the culinary arts curriculum to introduce North Carolina foods into the classroom as well. Uh, we've or actually organized tours for school nutrition directors uh, of the farms that participate in the North Carolina Farm to School program. And this is so important that they too recognize where this food comes from and how important it is for 
them to, to teach kids about where the food does come from. It's been a great experience for them to able to be able to talk to the farmers that actually grow the food, learn about product, the production techniques that we use on the farm and how that is so important to food safety. Our school nutrition directors are great allies for our local foods and uh, I really do appreciate the healthy options they are putting forth to our children in school. While we've had great participation by schools across North Carolina in this program, I won't be satisfied until all 115 schools are participating in the Farm to School program. You can find out more about North Carolina Farm to School program, including videos featuring participating farmers, schools, and children at www.ncfarmtoschool.com. I hope you've enjoyed these departmental videos and uh, I hope you've learned more about what the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services do. We've got a lot of responsibility in the department enforcing different rules, regulations, and laws, but I can tell you that I really believe I have the best employees there are in the United States of any Department of Agriculture and I'm proud to say they come to work every day with the attitude of how can we help people and uh, that's not what government is actually known for, so I'm proud to have that in the department and have these, these employees that are so dedicated to public service and uh, a lot of them spend their entire careers working at the Department of Agriculture and, and I think that sells a lot for the way the department is set up and the, and the culture of family that we have in the department. You can find all of these videos on, uh, in this series on the North Carolina Agricultural YouTube channel. I hope you will look at them. I hope you'll share them with your friends. Uh, I hope, sincerely hope that you will thank the employees of the Department of Agriculture for what they do every day. And remember that we touch your lives 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and we're proud to do it and do it well. I do thank you for watching and Please do view all of the videos on the Department of YouTube channel.